Okay, um, I think it's time for me to get into a different shirt. Uh, too many of these videos on the same shirt. We'll get a different shirt. Um, so we're talking about places to camp and things to go and places to do. I have it's taken uh, uh, a lot of, I've uh, been camping in a lot of places. In Pennsylvania, in the mountains, I think Pennsylvania has one of the prettiest states to, to go hiking in that. Uh, we went to a, a place called Perry Dam and did, they have some hiking trails around there. It was very nice. And one of the things is we got down by a, a river and I think it was our last night there. It was just like a three day thing. And it was our last night and we come into this campground and we had hiked across the mountains and water was an issue. Uh, it's hard to get any decent water on that trail. But when we found a place that we wanted to camp down by the river for that night on the last night, which was really pretty, um, out of the side of the mountain, right by the trail, there was a plastic three-quarter inch PVC tubing found in the ground, and it was an artesian well. Oh, my goodness, was that water good. Uh, that's one of the joys of camping is to find water right out of the earth that tastes that good, that cold, that delicious, just wonderful. So we camped down there in the river and two things happened that have never happened to me before or since. One of them is, is we made a ring of rocks to have a fire in, which looks really cute and in all the pictures and everything. And it's, it's kind of practical and it helps keep the fire in one spot. Uh, the second is, is I handed a whole bunch of 12-year-old boys uh, machetes and axes and saws and said, go get some wood. Um, their parents wouldn't let them have a pair of scissors. Uh, they just thought it was the greatest thing ever. We had more wood we knew what to do with. <laughs> Which, that's, it's kind of funny because it, the, the parents would probably go, ah! <laughs> As they're running around chopping things up. But that's what boys do. Anyway, so that was part of it. And then one of the things that happened, too, was when we had to fire in that fire ring. And this is the first time that's ever happened, and I know why it happened. One of the rocks was taken out of the river and, and put in there. It's a pretty good-sized rock, too. We're talking something around 8 inches in diameter type of thing. Uh, it blew up. It got so hot by the fire, and there was so much moisture contained within that rock that it actually blew up. No one was hurt, but it's the only time I ever saw that happen. So that was part of it. Uh, it was an interesting thing. <coughs> I don't know what to say other than the fact is, is that that could have hurt. <coughs> One of the other things that happened is uh, most of the, of the kids were sleeping outside uh, the other two adult um, that came along with us on a trip who have since been married and have children and who knows what they've been up to. It's been a while. Uh, most, uh, we all slept outside. <coughs> so there's a premium for flat places to sit. So I walked across this little creek and found myself a little spot about 20 feet from where everybody else was up in a little thing. It was going to stay warm. Even, no matter what happened, it was going to be dry and up high enough. It was good. So when I was sleeping there, it was about 11 o'clock at night. I was laying uh, on my back and uh, eyes closed and just relaxing, going to sleep when a little teeny tiny paw, a paw came and stepped on my face, touched me and disappeared. It was a raccoon. I had a flashlight, looked around a little bit, couldn't find him. In 60 years, the only time an animal touched my face like that. <laughs> 